Hello, jellyfish artist. Today what we're going to do is we are going to put in some detail using our oil pastels. This does not mean we are going to color in the entire picture with oil pastels. So please do not do that because it will end up wasting all of your pastels. You don't want to do that. As you can see from this example, oil pastel was added to the little dots that you see on the inside of the jellyfish and in some of the areas of the tentacles. And that's it. That's all that was added for oil pastel. In this example that you see here, we have some oil pastel outlining some of the parts of the jellyfish anatomy, a little bit of coloring inside its bell, and a little bit of the tentacles as well. That's all. So you can trace down on some of your tentacles with your oil pastel to help them resist the watercolor we're going to put on this painting later. But we do not want to color the entire picture in with oil pastel, leaving that to the watercolor. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna ask myself, what do I want to resist oil pastel in my particular picture? I know that in my picture there are some areas of white that I know that um, watercolor could creep into. And so I wanna make sure those areas stay white. Part of those areas are the tentacles. So these real skinny tentacles on the side, and then a little bit of where light is coming through the bell and just showing it very clear, very thin. So I'm gonna keep that membrane looking um, thin as like I indicated using the white. So there we go. So I'm going to use white making sure it is clean and I have plenty to work with. So I might have to peel a little bit off of my pastel. Alrighty. If you feel like your pastel is a little dirty and you don't want to get it onto your work, of course, you can always rub it off on a spare piece of paper. I don't really mind because I just figure that's part of the picture. So I'm going to go in here, start with my white oil pastel on my white paper, which makes it a little challenging to see. So some of you will just have to take my word for it. And some of you might actually be able to see it. Okay. So once I have incorporated this white oil pastel into my picture and I'm happy with where it is and keep in mind this is not going to be perfect you know it's art so you're just going to have to kind of go with the flow and see what it turns out like later and that's always really good practice for just developing your technique this is a jellyfish jellyfish can be kind of whatever there are so many species in the world so I am going to just kind of go with the flow with my white it's even hard for me to see, so it is going to be a little bit of a guessing game as to where it's going to end up. That's okay. It's going to be kind of fun to see what happens with this. All right. So I'm happy with where I have white in my picture. I'm not going to mess with it anymore. I do not need to worry about outlining these different parts unless I wanted them to be distinctly bright in the image that I am using, there's actually a lot of really bright orange that is on the edges of the tentacles. And then some of it's accented by a little bit of um, yellow. So what I'm going to do is I am gonna go in and I'm gonna put in some orange. I don't wanna outline everything because I'm gonna let it be a little bit more interesting and look like it's just curving and curling in the water and you can only see part of it as the tentacles curve around. So that is a way to use your oil pastels. See that? I'm going to end up doing that on all of my tentacles that I want to. And then afterwards, if I feel as though, like, as I look at my picture, there's more color and something that needs to be added. For example, as this gets longer, I notice in my photo that some purple emerges in these tentacles. And you might be thinking, well, that looks really odd, you know, really unrealistic. But 
that's kind of what's so amazing about the beauty of these different creatures is that, yeah, it is a little bit odd. It's not what we're used to seeing. So in some places, I'm gonna fill in the purple at the bottom. And in some, I'll overlap the orange a little bit. So you can do that with your color too. Think about how you would overlap to get it transition from one color to the next. You see how I did that? Okay, look at your picture. Think about what you would outline and what you would not. Remember, you're not coloring in the entire thing. It is really easy to fall into the trap of coloring in everything. So don't do that. We're gonna paint in this, not color it in. All right, have fun and I will see you soon.